Hey there, fellow underdog entrepreneurs. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have something truly exciting to share with you. I'm going to be diving into the world of ClickUp hacks and getting clicky with it. I'm going to show you how I've created an epic marketing asset library in just a matter of minutes. So if you're ready to level up your marketing game and get organized, let's get started. Before I do, though, before I get clicky with it, let me know if any of this sounds familiar. Your docs, images, scripts, videos, podcast episodes, all of your digital assets are stored all over the place. Some are in Dropbox, some are on Google Drive, some are in Adobe Creative Cloud. Some of them are actually sitting on your marketing admin's computer. Now this makes it super hard to keep track of all your digital assets and especially when that comes to keeping your marketing engine running as an underdog entrepreneur. So that is chaos and that is not calm. And you know, that's what I am all about. And that's what I'm trying to do in my life right now is build calm. And one of the things I've been working on for the last few months is simplifying my ClickUp. If you wanna see the big mistake that I made with ClickUp, check out this video right here. Uh, but if you have no idea what ClickUp is, ClickUp is actually a powerful project management tool and that's the center, that's the hub of all my workflows, my productivity, my task management, my collaboration. And by the way, it integrates with all of the popular apps that I'm already using. So without further ado, let's get clicky with it. So the first step that I need to do in creating an epic marketing asset library is to set up a dedicated workspace inside of ClickUp. That's gonna be the central hub for all those digital assets. Create a new workspace if you want for your marketing team. You can customize it to fit your needs. You can add folders, but as you see what I have done right here is inside of my ClickUp, I have a marketing folder and then inside of there or a marketing space and inside of there I have folders one is content marketing there's my podcast YouTube all that good fun stuff but if you'll notice down here here is my marketing asset library and let's just talk about today I'm going to talk about my content database getting all of my digital content organized so that's the first thing I need to do I set up a folder and I called it content database that's where I organize everything and if you notice, everything in here is organized according to a asset type. So I've actually created a custom value list where I have all of my different asset types. So from eBooks, PDFs, I'm starting to put my courses in there so I can keep track of everything because it's just everywhere. Uh, but anyway, I've got my podcast episodes in there and let me just show you what I've done inside of here. So I'm starting to compile everything, get everything out of all of the disparate places I have. So everything I need to do to go back and reference this podcast episode is right here inside of ClickUp. The thumbnail, all that good fun stuff. So that's the first thing you need to do is just set up a folder, make it as simple as possible. So you can use tags, you can do whatever you want. But I, for me, I created an asset type custom field. And now once, it, once that's created, then you got to pl plug everything in. It's time to start uploading those assets into ClickUp, which you can easily drag and drop. And if you'll notice too, that's the other powerful thing with ClickUp integrations. Let me show you back in here in this podcast episode, way down here at the bottom. Uh, you can drag and drop things straight in here. So if I go in here and I create a new folder and let's go inside of my asset library and let's just say I am gonna do inside of my assets and let's grab this image and let's just say here, here's my new stu podcast studio. And let's just say I want that to be inside of, I can either drag it right there into the comments or I can attach that file straight to the task. So bingo, bango, boingo, right there, passed it up. There is that asset sitting inside of ClickUp. So this is actually an old picture, but you get the point. Um, I can have all of my digital assets living right inside of ClickUp. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So that's the next thing you need to do, get everything inside of ClickUp. And again, this may take you some time to do, but I promise you that it's actually, it will be worth it for me. Uh, it has definitely made my life so much easier having, thing in, having things in there, having it categorized, using the integrations that ClickUp already has. Oh, by the way, mentioning the ClickUp integrations, if I go back in here, you can actually connect to Dropbox, Google Drive, SharePoint. I can add assets from all of those external resources straight inside of the tasks inside of ClickUp. So 
That is fantastic. Again, tools you're already using. So the next thing I need to do is if I have a team is being able to collaborate, communicate, I can do that right inside of those digital assets. And I can go back and reference all those conversations right inside of ClickUp. The next thing is custom views. As I mentioned right here is a custom view that I have where everything is sorted by asset type. The other thing that I've done is I've created a table view. So this is my custom view of all of my digital assets that I actually use for my creator dashboard. I'm gonna show you a quick peek of that. So if you'd like to see more about my creator dashboard, drop that in the comments below and I'll make a video if there's enough uh, requests for that. So now last but not least, this is the major, major hack for me is automations. I am all about getting everything automated so that I don't have to worry about it. So if what I've done is to further streamline the process of getting this database built out as I'm creating assets, just like this video right here, I have that automation set up. So that as soon as I'm done with this video and I mark it complete, it goes straight into my content database automatically. And there you have it folks, implementing these ClickUp hacks, you can create an epic marketing library in just a few minutes. But remember, organization is key when it, when it comes to maximizing marketing efforts and staying sane as an underdog entrepreneur. So again, as I mentioned in the next video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my content creation process. And I'm also gonna show you the automations that I've set up to keep my marketing library up to date. Until next time, happy marketing. I'll see you in the next video.